Syntax 1. Between 1872 and 1900, mongooses were introduced into most of the Caribbean islands. They were introduced in order to protect sugar cane fields from pit vipers. Which choice most effectively combines the two sentences at the underlined portion? A is correct. No punctuation, but removing they were introduced. 2. Lars Christofferson is the CEO of Christoph Markets. He recently announced his plan to open a chain of affordable health food stores, which choice most effectively combines the two sentences at the underlined portion. D is correct. We change CEO of Christoph Markets into an A positive, set apart by commas, and remove the rest. 3. Archaeologists have discovered that some Vikings deliberately carved grooves into their teeth. The reasons behind this dental decision remain unclear. Which choice most effectively combines the two sentences at the underlined portion? C is correct. We are using a comma and a conjunction. 4. Urban environments and metropolitan areas are making gradual advances on natural wildlife habitats. These gradual advances have negative consequences. Some animals are perishing from habitat loss. Which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlined portion? B is correct. We turn this second sentence into a dependent clause. 5. Fans were very excited to see the final installment of the Royal Battleground Trilogy. Hundreds of eager viewers lined up outside the movie theater days in advance. Which choice most effectively combines the two sentences at the underlined portion? C makes this an essential clause by stating that the reason why fans were so were lining up is because they were so excited. 6. In 1962, Michael Murphy and Dick Price founded the Isolin Institute. The Big Sur, California location, was one of the first homes of the Western New Age movement. Which choice most effectively combines the two sentences at the underlined portion? B is correct making the last clause into an A positive. 7. Capitalism is a controversial economic system. The argument that capitalism rewards innovation and hard work has been made by some people, while others believe it encourages greed, which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlined portion. B is correct, as this establishes the contrast. 8. Rochelle and Lydia did not know what to expect on their first catamaran trip to the Channel Islands. Therefore, they were surprised and thrilled to see dolphins leaping out of the water. Which choice most effectively combines the two sentences at the underlined portion? C is correct. We are using a comma and a conjunction. 9. Yesterday I drove to work past the lemon tree. It was, as is usual, covered with fruit. Which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the, at the underlined portion? A is correct. We're using a semicolon to join the two independent clauses. 10. The oarfish, a serpentine deep-sea deep fish, has long been featured in Japanese folklore as a predictor of earthquakes. Their predictive power comes from living close to the ocean floor. With that, with that proximity to the sea bottom, oarfish can pick up the sensitive vibrations of tectonic plate movement. Which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlined portion? A is correct, turning the second sentence into a dependent clause. 11. The Bridge Foundation awarded the Early Childhood Center a grant. The one condition of the grant was that the center would be required to report back quarterly with parent and teacher surveys. Which choice most effectively combines the two sentences at the underlined portion? D is correct. We avoid the redundancy by repeating the grant twice. 12. Although history credits Thomas Edison with inventing the light bulb, it was actually invented by Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor and engineer. Which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlined portion? A was correct. We turn that last sentence into an A positive. 13. Mangroves are the amphibians of the plant world. They straddle the land and sea with roots that extend into salt water and house a variety of wildlife. Which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlined portion? C is correct, using a semicolon to join together the two independent clauses. 
14. Since the 1990s, fishermen in Panama have been clearing mangrove trees for firewood and lumber. Mangrove deforestation threatens pygmy sloths that, de that depend on mangroves for their food and habitat. Which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlined portion? C is correct, turning the second sentence into a dependent clause. 15. Due to their ability to resist wind, round tents called yurts are common living accommodations on the Eurasian steppe. The steppe is a dry, flat grassland that experiences extreme gales. Which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlined portion? B is correct. This turns the last sentence into an A positive and avoids the redundancy of repeating step twice. 16. It's often called the city of light. Paris buzzes with a special radiance day and night. Which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlined portion? A is correct. Often called the city of light is turned into an, an A positive. 17. Much of ancient sub-Saharan African art was made of wood. However, the Nok people in Nigeria made terracotta sculptures featuring human figures. Which choice most effectively combines the two sentences at the underlined portion? B is correct, transforming the first sentence into a dependent clause. 18. Born in 1940, football player Pele was born Edson Arantes do Nascimento. He is regarded as a Brazilian national hero and is the only football player to have won three FIFA World Cups. Which choice most effectively combines the two sentences at the underlined portion? B was correct, using a semicolon to join these two independent clauses.